Next one. Warning, warning, here comes a conspiracy. The only reason I'm bringing it up is there may be some truth to this. Wuhan is where it all started. Wuhan, China. On October 18th of 2019, before the first patient was announced, there was Event 201 and the Military World Games in Wuhan, where they talked about the possibility of a worldwide pandemic, a bioweapon or a bio disease that could be pandemic. And then a month later, it happened. Is that a conspiracy theory or a coincidence? Or should we just ignore it as, oh, things happen, there's nothing to it? I got to tell you what I'm really concerned about, and this is reported everywhere. The leading proponent of a worldwide vaccine for the coronavirus is Bill Gates, who is heavily invested in two things, population reduction. He's made this speech many times. There's too many people on planet Earth and we must reduce population. That scares me because who gets to choose where the population gets reduced? And number two, he's pushing very aggressively for worldwide vaccines and no return to normalcy until those vaccines are introduced into the worldwide population. And he has hundreds of millions of dollars invested in these vaccine programs and vaccine companies. Are these all coincidences or do we have to look further into this? You know, I think it's funny, Barry, that you uh, you gave me the uh, the warning, the conspiracy alert warning. Uh, yeah, to some that probably could be a conspiracy alert, but also, you know, at what point do they start putting chips in? What When does that happen? Oh, boy. I, I'm not signing up for a chip and I don't want the vaccine. It's just the flu. Sorry, but that's Barry's opinion. Yep. Same, same.